Hi guys, I got my little torch here today. We're gonna do a little bit of a fun video, see if uh, shingles burn and how long it takes to burn. Just kidding guys, we're gonna test them with this torch and see if they light on fire and how they burn. So guys, here we got three common um, manufacturers. We have one that's corn GAF and certain teed, and we're gonna light it on fire for 30 seconds each. We have a timer going and see if they catch on fire. So we're gonna start with the JF shingles for 30 seconds. We're gonna burn them and see what happens. Second. 13 so, seconds, 13 seconds, stop. 13 seconds, it melted. So Owen's Corning's next. didn't do 30 seconds I did 13 seconds and um, they all melted pretty well but the Owens Corning did hold up the best uh, for the melting they are all made out of asphalt so with heat obviously it's gonna melt away um, I honestly thought it was just gonna catch on fire I didn't expect it to just melt so none of them actually caught on fire they all went out pretty good so maybe they are fireproof after all <laughs> That's when you test 30 seconds. Now we're going to test F-Wave. It's a synthetic rubber slate roof that we installed not too long ago. We're going to blast it for 37 seconds. So, in conclusion, rubber <laughs> does not melt in heat. So get F-Waves on your roof. Now we're going to blast it for 13 seconds. That was how long? The metal bottle pot. How long does that do? It stinks. So we blasted the shingle for 37 seconds, low flame and 13 seconds on high flame. The 13 seconds obviously melted the shingle pretty good. Here's the back, this is 13 seconds. That's, I mean, this is the 37 seconds. This is the 13 seconds this of shingle blasting. Know, because that's where it was. So it can definitely sustain some heat for sure. That was, certain tea got the GAF again 13 and 37 seconds I don't know what I don't know. this is I don't know. there we go so, this one gets in the damage on the lower chain this one went through the shoulder now Owens Corning was the one that sustained the most heat. Didn't melt really. Oh, really? Oh, it has a little bit of damage to the bottom. So I think the one that doesn't have damage, I'm gonna flip them all back. See how there is damage on the back of the shingle? And 
there is damage in the back of the shingle, it's starting to heat, it's no damage. So even though the front of the shingle got burned, the back of it is still good. It didn't damage the lower shingle, which in reality, it could be it could still, still waterproof because the bottom shingle is not damaged at all. You see it right there. So who's the winner, Jaylene? For melting on the front, Owen's Corning one didn't melt as much, but for damages to the back and the second shingle, it would be certain teeth. Um, don't burn your shingles. This is just a fun video we're doing today. We're professionals. That's what we do. We want to test to see which one holds the fire better and finally did it. So we uh, blasted the F-Wave here. It's uh, rubber. It's melted. I mean, I can't. You can't lift it. There you go, look. It's completely melted onto the next shingle. And uh, it's plastic. So this one probably, and it's still hot actually, uh, this one probably melted the most, I would say. But again, it is plastic. Well, the asphalt melted pretty good too. They all do. Don't burn. Finally, we got to do this video. We want to test the shingles. I wasn't surprised with the result. I knew one scorning was gonna be the better shingle. It melted on the front, but it didn't transfer the heat toward the bottom of the under layer. That's what I wanted to see. Certain teeth is a heavier shingle. That's why it did not cause damage on the bottom of the shingle, because they're thicker. These are the three manufacturers that we installed the most. Certain teeth, one scorning JF, this is what we have in our yard. And if you like this type of videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.